to Becky's Cook World. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Today we are making uh, meatballs. So, for the meatballs, I'm using ground beef and sausage beef sausage uh, sausage meat i've just taken out the casings i've added in uh, some salt a teaspoon of uh, dark superior soy sauce a few drops of Worcestershire sauce next um, i'll add in the black pepper and you'll also need um, ginger pounded pounded or ground uh, ginger and garlic mixed some fresh coriander just for the color chopped onions juice from half a lemon an egg and wheat flour just to bind the ingredients together I also have some when we because we're going to make um, a stew out of the meatballs, I'll use green chilies, lots of onions, tomatoes. I'm going to blend these tomatoes together with peanut butter, some carrots. green pepper and for the spices I'm going to use beef masala, dried and ground coriander, thyme, paprika, oregano and bay leaves. So I also have white pepper, garlic powder. So this is optional just in case you feel like you need to add more garlic into your meatballs. And then lastly, tomato paste. So in I go with my black pepper. I just throw in these onions. A little bit of the fresh coriander and some of this mix this is garlic and ginger and then try and mix that up like that so be very very careful with your salt because the sausage has some salt and when I grown my my what is it called my garlic and ginger I normally add some salt to it so mine has mixed in well next I make a hole at the center and beat my egg Like that and just pour a little you don't want to overdo the eggs and then I go in with my flour like that so the amount of flour will determine if I'm going to add the rest of the egg mix in this so as you can see the flour is a bit too much so I will add in the rest of the egg like that and then mix again then make little balls I'll show you how take a tray and dust it and 
the size of your meatballs is totally dependent on your preferences. So you scoop, make a ball, and that's it. So continue with the process until you're done with the whole chunk. I am done with making the meatballs. Here they are. They don't really need to be perfect. So next you can either bake them or fry them. Shallow fry them so that they don't break when you're making the stew. You put some oil in your hot pan, on your hot pan. Make sure it gets hot enough. Yeah. Drop in your meatballs one by one. Be very gentle so that you don't break them during transportation. Okay, you uh, don't have another word for that, but hey. Uh, So my pan is a little bit bent, but we're going to sort that out once I am done. So there we go. So what I do with my pan is just take this. that I just evenly distribute them. Uh, yeah, there we go. So you can let that cook until brown or you so I have been shallow frying my meatball for about uh, five minutes so I like the color already and they are strong enough so I, you take them out one by one again from the pan we are using the same pan to make the stew you can so we are Getting onto the stew, add some oil. I'm using sunflower oil. Just put enough. Next, I go in with my onions. I go in with the remaining ginger and garlic mix. And mix that in. Like that. I'm actually avoiding to overcook the garlic and ginger. Next, I go in with my carrot. And a bit of coriander. Okay. Then you 
Abin. So next you go in with like half a teaspoon of oregano. This is dried oregano. Coriander. Get half a teaspoon as well. Quarter teaspoon of thyme. Thyme is a very very strong spice. Okay. Then a teaspoon of paprika. And chili. I will not cut mine. I'll just drop it in for you. I don't want it very hot. So you mix that in. Like that. Next you add in a bit of the green pepper. Smells amazing already. So I'm adding in my meatballs back onto the pan. Next, you go in with your black pepper. And some white pepper. So for the tomatoes, you need to blend them. Throw them into the blender. You can use about two to two and a half teaspoonfuls of peanut butter. Then you add in hot water. I've already added in my water. Cover and blend it. I am going to cue this video because it's going to be a bit loud. What I'm going to do next is add in my tomato paste. about a tablespoon of tomato paste and then run the mix through the blender for the second time <laughs> balls then pour in your tomato mix
let that simmer so the sauce is thick to my liking so next I'll add in the remaining green peppers some coriander and a bit of the lemon just so mix that all in very gently oopsie one just broke but it's still fine So that is why you need to be very very gentle so how beautiful is that so you can have this with rice or spaghetti so i'm having mine with rice i think i'll do coconut rice here we go our meatballs with coconut rice I have made some guacamole since I don't have vegetables thank you for watching this video please give it a thumbs up until next time bye